I'm, I'm wondering, there, there's some people that uh, say Gurdjieff was a man of massive ego, uh, and yet you're suggesting that perhaps he transcended the ego as well. I'm wondering if you might comment on that. I think it's perfectly possible to be both. I think in certain moods, Gurdjieff was a man of massive ego, and in other moods, he was uh, way uh, above the ordinary level. He was a man of enormous power. Perhaps he got stuck on a power trip. It's difficult to tell. Unless you actually knew Gurdjieff, you can't imagine how different he was from most people. Could you help us know him a bit, your experiences with him? What, what was he like for you? Maybe some anecdotes or, or visions, stories? Oh, he was him. I can't describe him. He was quite unlike a man from Mars, if you like. He came from a different <laughs> planet. I mean, he could sit there uh, squeezing on his little accordion thing, which he played, uh, you know, play this strange music and look at you in a certain way. And you have this feeling that this man has been around for a fantastic time. Maybe he saw the pyramids being put up. Not in that body, of course. It was just that feeling of a man who saw over enormous perspectives. He didn't see you like ordinary people did. He didn't look at you like ordinary people did. He saw right through you. This could be rather disturbing. <laughs>